Hi everyone, myself Harsha, you are watching Harsha Trainings. In this video, I am going to give you a workaround of fakes while, uh, while we bring up the application server on PRPC home version. So many people, when they try to bring up the application server by startup on home version, they are facing the issue, the server do not start up properly. As a result, they are going to get 404 uh, login issue while they are uh, trying to get the login screen. So many people that keep on trying multiple times, shut down, start up, shut down, start up, clear, clear cache and restart the machine, all this. And apart from this, there is one more trick that we can uh, try. So which is going to fix the issue of 404 login issue. So let's get onto our laptop to see what to do in order to fix this issue to get the login screen and server startup is being done successfully when you try to start up next time. And before we get onto that, if you are a follower of our YouTube channel, Please don't forget to subscribe our channel, recommend this channel to your friends and if you are looking for job on PEGA or if you are looking for training on PEGA, reach out to us on the number that is being displayed in this video. We are happy to help you. Now let's get on to the video to see the trick. Hi friends, uh, whenever sometimes we try to log into PEGA, we find uh, we face an issue of HTTP status 404 not found and you see the server will not get started properly in the command prompt. And when you face this issue, there is a simple workaround that you can follow and which will fix the issue. That is, you just go to the drive where you have installed Pega. In my case, I have installed on C drive. There will be a folder called PRPC parcel edition. Open that folder, go to Tomcat. Here you see a, 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 a folder called Kafka data. Select this folder and you delete this folder. Okay, you can do a shift to delete also. You try again if it is not getting deleted multiple times usually it won't get deleted i'll try shift delete okay i'm selecting it and shift delete and say yes it should get deleted properly now and there is a lock file okay do this for all items and skip and somehow somewhat it got deleted but i want to permanently delete it go to kafka data lock file select it and again shift delete yes it got deleted now you go back and shift delete kafka data it will be permanently deleted Deleting this folder doesn't impact anything. You can do it. Kafka data, once it is deleted, you just go back to your desktop where you have these icons. Start up the server now. This time, your server is going to get started successfully for sure. Okay, after the server starts, you can click on login. It is going to display a login screen. Let's wait for the server to get started. It may take some while, like five minutes or three minutes, maybe. I'll pass the, let me pass the recording, I'll, I'll wait, no problem. And you click on login, because server is still coming up, you click on login, the, the screen gets keep on loading, which means the server is still coming up. Okay, once the server is up successfully, you will see the login screen being loaded. So whenever you face an issue like 404, unable to connect to server and all, you can just try to delete Kafka data folder there completely, and then you start the server once again. Definitely it will start successfully for sure. In all and all the cases so far that I have seen, this has worked out 100%. And one more point I want to tell you clearly. Remember one thing. This is only for home version. Do not try this in enterprise for any reason. Okay. So enterprise, you don't try this. It is only for home version. Okay, it is not for enterprise, only for home version only you have to try this. See, I got the login screen successfully without any issues. This is the workaround. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.